Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Hillbilly Therapy. First and foremost, we'd like to thank everybody that came out to Grow Me CDs and Tapes for the first ever Hillbilly Therapy Live. We had a blast. Absolutely. I am your host, Mr. Jake Hill, and I am here with my, well, well like I've said, the only person that'll do this shit with me, Mr. Dan Fraley. Alrighty. Dan, we, we put out a challenge last week. Yeah. We and, did. Uh, our lovely listeners fucking delivered. Uh, of course they did. They fucking delivered. We asked them to send a question weirder mm. than the guy that was banging his boss's daughter and cocaine and eating pigeons. Yeah. And they delivered. Uh, of course they did. Of course they did, because I love every single one of you. Uh, we, uh, first and foremost, uh, to our uh, number one fan, um, sorry we had you arrested, buddy, but... Uh, uh, you, you got weird there, Robbie. You got weird. You made it weird. You tried to grab my junk and tried to touch Dan. It got weird. Yeah. Neither, none of that works. And if you see any of our uh, hillbilly therapy things on uh, eBay, uh, please buy them so that he can get a lawyer. Because <laughs> we don't think he had a lawyer. He's going to crowdfund this defense. and Yes. He, he thinks he can probably get away with only a little prison time, so... You know, here's hoping. <laughs> We're rooting for you. Yeah, totally. Not at all. You ready to get to questions, Dan? Absolutely. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> you're not. I'm at dealing all. with it. Yeah. All righty. First, we got an angry one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this guy meant to be weird. Yeah, but it got weird. They might have. I don't know. Uh, all right, we're just gonna get right to it. it. Says, "What's the deal with eggplants? You always see them at the grocery store, but who the fuck is buying these things? Have you ever eaten one? I don't, yeah, I actually have eaten eggplant before. It's actually kind of a good uh, mm. thing if you don't like meat. Uh, you can actually make it. Uh, it's really good on spaghetti." Uh, okay. No, of course not. Well, fuck you. I just yeah, said. Yeah, he disagrees. Yeah. People don't fucking eat them. I fucking did. Dipshit. Uh, how is the eggplant market sustaining itself? Well, apparently motherfuckers like me. I bet it has something to do with Mexican drug cartels and untrustworthy border security. You went weirdly racist on this. What the now, fuck does that have anything to do with that? What I'm, the hell? I'm going to let you in on a little secret, and here's what it is. It's not to do with the drug cartels. They got other things to worry about. What you don't know is the power of of big eggplant. There is an eggplant industry in this country that is keeping eggplants in every supermarket countrywide. Walmart wishes they had the power that a big eggplant has. So yes, you are right. It is a vast conspiracy to keep eggplants in the supermarket uneaten. Big purple dinosaur egg looking sons of bitches. They are, they are there for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but there is an industry keeping them alive. So yes, sir, you've cracked the code. Now go to bed. What the fuck are you drinking? Hey, if he's going to be, if he's going to get so upset about eggplants, I'm going to assume he's a lunatic. I'm going to feed into it. I'm going to feed into it because then if he's like, oh yeah, yeah, they get it. And then he goes and maybe takes the medication he desperately needs, and then we don't have to deal with him. So I'll feed into it. Yep, big eggplant. It's a conspiracy. You cracked it. It's them and those little Vendelia onions. They're they're in a conspiracy together. I tell you, it's true. I bet I bet it's the same industry that uh, has them halos. Yes, little little oranges. Yep, that's what it is. They're all working together, man. We did ask for weird questions. Yeah, we we you fucking took we, that a we got one than... from a guy who's really too invested in the outcome of eggplants. I've never heard anyone get that upset about them. So, okay, whatever you do, man. What the fuck just happened? I I do, you what? asked for weird and you got weird. That's I what did. happened. That's your problem. You asked for it and you got it. Wow. Yeah, I should probably start actually uh, looking through these before I do because I what the fuck? <laughs> that uh, that'd be fun. So j- j- just so you all know, I do not read these questions before we tape. Nah, I don't even know what they are. And I I don't either. And we I respond I, the way we feel. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, it got really fucking weird. Yeah. Okay. And after this past episode of Gromy, Gromy's got weird. Oh God, yeah. But it was, it was a fun kind of weird. Yeah, but it's always fun running weird. Not to, I'm out to. <laughs> blame the drug cartels and yeah bo- and border security yeah i think bo- I, I, yeah. I, what's funny okay trump says crazy things 
Yeah, he does. I've never once heard our trustworthy leader mm. of this country, who we're going to be able to hopefully get rid of here in the next year. Here's a here's a thought process, though. This could be I'm very curious where the this fuck could this be is Trump. Here. This could be Trump. Like it's the one thing he won't tweet because he's afraid of the big impl- eggplant industry. But this could be him. It's anonymous. We don't know. We don't know. He could be. It could be an assumed name. Maybe he's legitimately worried about. Maybe he's legitimately worried about eggplants, and he doesn't know where to tell. So he comes to us. It's possible. Not likely, but possible. I'm once again checking what the fuck you're drinking. Hey, 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 if it were any other president before this, I'd say I'd be with you. But really, this one? We had a president that literally at one point, Ronald Reagan was showing signs of senility. While president, he was still more coherent than the current guy. So if it were anyone else, I would... But this one? Ugh, I wouldn't put it past him. It could be. This one could be. This one could be the, 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 the orange haired one. He could, he could be doing it. He could be, this could be a, a fake just to, just to see where we're at. Maybe he want, thinks we're going to get to the bottom of it. We don't know. I'm not saying it's likely. I'm saying it's possible. In this case, it's possible. I'm thinking this question last week about the guy, you know, eating pigeons and shit. Uh-huh. I think you've lost your goddamn mind. No, I'm I'm still not sending these questions in, so I'm still above these people. Still above. I think you've lost your goddamn mind. I'm not eating mind. pigeons. Uh, I don't give a shit about eggplants near as much as this guy. Yeah, I'm still pretty far up there. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm sane, but I'm more sane than these guys. I know that for a fact. I'm still going with you. You've lost your goddamn mind. Yeah, I do. Right. I do co-host this show, so you know. This is a that's a great fucking point. yeah. Alrighty then, on to the next question. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. I read, the, I read the first sentence and I'm, I just about, wow. Yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend wants me to let her peg me, as she calls it. If you don't know what that is, I don't, okay. If I don't know what it is, it's when you put on a strap-on to, oh, strap-on toy, which she has already owned and used on God knows who prior to us meeting. Some poor soul. And proceeds to be intimate with his back area. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna PG that. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. This bothers me in so many, yeah. So many ways, not only the way she tries to initiate it by putting the apparatus on and showing the penis part in my face while yelling, suck it, bitch. <laughs> but also, how often it happens throughout the day. Upwards of five to six times precisely. What should I do, boys? Break up with her or just take it up the ass literally? All okay, right, for, first of all. I'm amazed. Holy shit. The way it sounds is I'm amazed he got through this entire question without misspelling things because she was probably trying to do it to him while he was typing it. Um, second, uh, at this point, if you don't want to do it and she's trying, first of all, I don't understand people that do, I'm not, listen, I'm not here to judge people. I am, but so kind of, but not all the time. But if this is something you do, that's between you and the guy you paid to jerk off in front of you. That's your business. Okay. I don't care. Whatever. Porn hub thing you're working for, don't care. But if you're doing it and you don't want to do it, that is rape. And you don't have, and then at this point, you don't have a girlfriend, uh, you have a dominatrix. And dominatrix, the whole thing is you pay them because you want this. So if you're, if they're doing it to you and it's free, that's just a sex crime. This is the kind of stuff that would be on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. What you should do, run. Call somebody, send up a, a flare. So don't send, send it to us. We know what's going on now. Now we're witnesses or whatever the hell. Get the hell out of the house. Cause th- it'll know, it'll only get worse from here. Okay. So I used to do a bit about a, a ex-girlfriend that uh, we had some communication issues. Apparently mm-hmm. like this gentleman. Hopefully nothing like this. No, That's a but, whole new level. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I told her I was into some weird stuff, but what I meant was I like pro wrestling and, you know, stuff like that. You know, not, not the normal adult. Mm-hmm things that you do as a grown yeah. ass adult You're right what she thought it meant was that during sex i wanted to be stabbed yeah that's that's a whole different level yeah. which I, by the way dan i do appreciate you uh picking me up from the er that night and, I, you know i've never actually you know have been able to tell you I, you know i appreciated I, that i better. don't i don't ask questions i just pick up and drop off i don't ask questions but it turns out in cases like this you don't actually have to have the uh it's not you it's me mm-hmm. conversation you get to have the no bitch it's it's you, yeah. Because what it what it sounds like is if if you if y'all two were living together, uh, fucking move out, mm. uh, because uh, 
this bitch is crazier than a yeah. goddamn loony bin full of yeah. fucking jack wagons. Because holy shit. Yeah. Well, I, my question to ask is, what the, where the fuck did y'all start? Like, this this just ain't something that you're like, yeah. the end of the first date, you were just yeah. like, this is... You don't spring this on somebody. No, this you, ramped up. Yeah. And, and and that's the thing. This is the kind of thing where this is the kind of thing where a uh you have a breakup note that's that's just like stapled to a restraining order. Like it's one of those scenarios. You let the cops do it for you. you. Yeah, you have the cops m- give it to her and you're in a comfortable area at your parents' house or a safe house or something like that. But yeah, this it's uh yeah, it ramped up to, you should have seen this coming, because this is not a day two thing. This is a, you've done some weird shit before, this is just where the line was, essentially. Yeah. Like, you've done some weird shit before this, and now you've decided to draw the line. So, you should have been a little more skeptical going into this, I'm, I'm just gonna go with that, I'm just gonna say. Wow. Yeah, you asked for weird, I, I, I yeah. I, and, uh, I was against it, but you're like, oh, we're gonna get weird, and we got weird. We did. We, yeah, cause, yeah. Well, Holy shit, buddy. Yeah, pretty much. There is a lot of things in that that... Wow. But again, I feel like communication is a big fucking issue in y'all's relationship. Uh, I, because... I, I think a stun gun would be a bigger part of this relationship. And at this point, if she's trying to do this to me, I'm just going to stun gun her. And then the next show here for me is from my attorney. Like, I'm not talking at this point. It's just a stun gun and I'm getting the hell out of the property, you know? How fucking crazy is this crazy bitch? Uh, very crazy. That five to six times a day. Day, she's yeah. like, I want to pay. Wow. You have to reward the stamina, I, though. That's a lot. You got to have a lot of cardio for that. Five, six times a day. I don't do it. chase them. I don't. I don't eat five or six times a day. That's 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 a lot of effort there to to like hunt down and dominate a grown man like that five six times a day. That is that is cardio. That is Olympic level cardio. So you have to a- a- applaud that. I'd at least like it, it to help maybe for the next like thirty minutes. I fucking try to hide the goddamn thing at least. Yeah, that, fucking give it to the dog and tell it to fucking run. No, yeah. I don't fucking wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. You, you, yeah, this wow. should be a, this should, you, you should forward this email on to the police. I think, cause this will become evidence at some point. Holy, yeah. wow. Either, either he's gonna finally break away and this can be used, or this is gonna be used later in his murder as, uh, as they use this as a as a sex game gone wrong. So either way, it's going to be evidence of a future crime, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that, yeah. Wh- what the... I, I don't know what the fuck to even say about... All, really, holy shit. I, mean, I, just keep re- I, I, I just keep reading the damn mm-hmm. question over and over again. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're going to go back to what we previously said. We should probably start fucking reading this shit before yeah, we it go. Would, it would help, yeah. Yeah, we... It would holy help. shit. Like, I was fine with eggplant guy, but this is, uh, this is a level of crazy i wasn't quite frankly prepared for no yeah. and uh we're gonna end the episode there because oh yeah we have to that's there's nowhere to go after that that's uh, yeah i don't i don't feel like i want to go on <laughs> no i don't want to go on living after reading that thing um so the uh first and foremost thing that i need to say uh that challenge is fucking over yeah let's, let's we stop have that. a winner yeah, let's let's stop getting weird. Let's get better now. Like, ask us our favorite TV show or something, something to cleanse the palate of of crazy shit like this, right? Because yeah. uh, we got Thanksgiving coming up, and uh, yeah, I, I, I I feel like if you don't fix something here, you ain't eating turkey on Thanksgiving, brother. Yeah, I don't. I don't holy shit! I'm afraid to what she'd have a meat. I mean, to be honest, she's a weirdo. Oh, yeah. weirdo is not the way to describe. Yeah, what the yeah fuck again, we just uh, dude. Read? Like I'm saying, dude, uh, run away, forward this to. The the police and uh, change your identity uh, because she seems like the kind that would hold a grudge. Uh, yeah, especially yeah. since apparently the uh, the Mexican uh, drug cartels are trying to help with eggplants. So you she probably might go be, down there. She might be working for the eggplant people. We don't know. It could be a whole conspiracy. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's possible. I feel like you've you've uh, had to say the phrase. I'm not saying it is, but it's possible. It's possible. way too much for my comfortability. Well, you know what? Mental state. It's either me or the or the pegging girlfriend. So I, I think I'm still the better option of the two. It's my opinion. That was the line you used? Yes, and I stand by it. That's fair. All right. All righty then. Like I said, we're going to end that one there because why? I don't know what the fuck we just uh, read. Holy shit. I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep tonight now. No. And I'm going to be a little bit weirder about anybody that fucking walks up behind me for That's a little true. while. And you should be because it could be her. Fucking. It could be her. 
Eli Roth is looking at this thing like, <laughs> that's a little fucking deep. Hostile 4. All right. Is that what they're up to? I don't know. I knew there were two. That's all I know of. But yeah, there's probably three or four. It's just, he needs a paycheck, so who knows? God. Yeah. All righty then. Well, yeah, that's our episode this week. Yes. You're welcome. Um, please, God, send us questions that aren't weird. Yeah, get, get, get go, go below this. Don't go worse. Or go less than this. Higher than this. No, no, no. I mean, like, in the crazy scale. Don't go crazier or go lower. Go, uh, yeah, like, yeah, get, get a little PG 13 on us. I'll take PG 13. Uh, go like, like Beethoven, like the movie with the flobbery fucking dog. Don't go, uh, you know, d- don't go like Saw. That's that's the, the barometer. Don't go too far. Uh, pull it back a little bit. That's all I'm saying. That's probably great advice. Yeah. Um, maybe send in some questions since uh, we're getting ready towards, uh, we're going to be heading towards uh, Thanksgiving. Maybe you have some uh, family feuds that uh, yes, need, uh, that'd be nice. need solved. Uh, help us out. Yeah. Just, you know, talk we, about it. We're here to help best we can for being unlicensed psychiatrists. Uh, but yeah, this, this Pegan thing, this is, we're not helping this again. This is it. Nope. Yeah, so we're going to do anything, anything better than pegging. We're, we're fine. Anything that's not involving, uh, sexual assault, we're good. We're good. Or, uh, doing cocaine and eating pigeons. Eating pigeons. Yeah, that guy, again, I don't think he'll ever hear this. This is, uh, he sold his phone for crack at this point. That's, that's how it works. Alrighty then. Well, I said this before, I'll say it again. You ain't gotta go home. And with that guy, I fucking would never go home. But you gotta get the hell out of here. Y'all have a great night. Cause I love her. And I know she loves me. Yes, I love her. And I know she loves me. Yes, I love her. And I know she loves me.